I'm alive! I made it through a four day country music festival this past weekend. Felt really old this weekend. Really old. And to be honest, I didn't feel that old. Like I'm 31. And I know that's not that old. But go to a country music festival and hang out in the camping area. Instantly gonna feel like a grandma. There were kids there who were 17. And we had a campsite, but we didn't sleep there. Thankfully, we managed to swing rides the whole weekend. I'm exaggerating, 40 degrees Celsius, which I don't even know what that is in Fahrenheit, but it's bloody hot. It's just melting off of you at all times. So we had a tent set up in case we got stuck there, where to change, and we had a shade tent, RIP, because it did not make it home. People watching there was 10 out of 10. Absolutely stellar people watching. And do the cutoff jean shorts with the plaid shirts or just no shirt every girl is basically walking around in their bra and people set up pools in the backs of their trucks people get creative i i was impressed i don't know if i would ever hang out in the camping zone again but it was nice because you could bring in your own food and alcohol whereas if you didn't have a campsite you couldn't do that you had to buy everything in the grounds maybe next year i think we should rv it it was a good weekend. Shania was unreal. Could have probably went without the torrential downpour that we had. Spray tan is that it's like wonky stage. So I know I need to scrub it off. So we're in the festival grounds and then we were getting ready for Shania. So you're like making your way closer to the stage. And then next thing you know, Blake, I think his last name's Hortzman, bachelor guy, comes on and says, everyone needs to immediately evacuate the festival grounds and seek shelter. We're like, Pardon? What's happening? Um, and it was like sunny and nice out. And then all of a sudden this wicked storm just rolled in. Like you couldn't really see it coming. And the festival grounds are at least like a 20 to 30 minute, like quick walk over to the campgrounds. And you don't want a quick walk in this because all of a sudden you feel a couple raindrops. You look up and the sky is just like black. You're like, shit, run. But in the festival grounds, there's probably, oh, I think I read somewhere that there were like 50,000 people. I, I could be wrong, but I swear that's the number I read. And so everyone is trying to evacuate the campgrounds at the same time. At the exact same time, I wore my most comfortable cowboy boots for Shania, because I mean, whose bed have your boots been under? And I'm running and they're sopping wet. I have puddles in my boots that are like almost the full height of the boot. If my feet are just bleeding. I was right, they were bleeding and still are. Um, and we're just booking it as fast as you can. And then you know the kind of rain that comes down where it's like not raining like normal. It's first off raining sideways and the raindrops, I swear to God, were like inch in di diameter and they're pelting you to the point where like it just hurts. It hurts to get rained on. And then your mascara and makeup's going in your eyes. And, like I feel like I'm like losing my eyesight as I'm running through this rain. It was intense people and then you're trying to remember how the hell to get to your campsite when you can barely see where you're going um and not eat shit in the mud because it was so deep so that was fun lots of fun and fun fact last time I went to Boots and Hearts which was probably seven years ago um it hailed on us so I just have really good luck like that at Boots and Hearts so next year when I go what extreme weather are we gonna get is it gonna tornado Maybe. But that was fun. Then we get to the car. I beat my camp mates back there. So then I'm like, great. I ran here really fast for literally no reason. Cause my shade tent is like crumpled on the ground, broken and the car's locked. <laughs> so I'm just standing there getting soaked and they eventually get there. And then we waited out in the car, have some drinks. And then we get a text on our phones from the event that says, let's go girls, which Shania is coming on. So we, you can't dry off or like there's no point changed my shoes thankfully got out of my boots a little too late and grab a couple drinks and head to the gate you get to the gate and there's everybody trying to line up at the same time and to get in you have to go through security and it's slow like on like a normal circumstance so we get there and i decide that f it no one's gonna check anything let's go in the vip line Good life choice. And then all of a sudden we all get a text. They make an announcement at the main stage saying gates are now reopening and security knew it was going to happen. They knew. They immediately just back up and make room and 
stampede of people. Everybody just stampedes the grounds as fast as you can. And people are just eating shit everywhere because the mud is like this thick because it just torrential downpoured for like an hour. So we're just running in as fast as we can. I wasn't even paying attention to where like my group was. I'm like, you know what? They'll find me, they'll find me, it'll be fine. And I got up so stinking close to the stage and I was totally by myself, I lost my group. And then I'm sending them pictures of where I am and I was like, there's no effing way they're gonna find me. There's so many people here. And next thing you know, they show up. Um, I was standing in like a river, um, but I was up close to the front. Shania was amazing. Sounds like even better in person still. Like she is a friggin' rock star. It was a great, great, great concert. Great weekend won't camp again and getting rides out of there is a little dicey but overall boots and hearts you got me i'll be back next year but recovery is not what it used to be so maybe all of those people calling us like milfs and old ladies they're not wrong